with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Well, we got the snow this morning and this evening we're getting the high winds and the cold temperatures and there's a lot more cold on the way. Here's a look at the next seven days. Highs tomorrow only around 30. We'll see lower to mid 30s on Sunday, upper 20s to around 30 on Monday, mid to upper 20s on Tuesday. After that, we will start to warm up just a little bit. Lower 30s return on Wednesday, and then we'll see some 40s for Thursday and Friday. Right now, we are looking at temperatures that range from the upper teens in Anago to the upper 20s here in Kiwani and Sister Bay. It is currently 23 in Oshkosh, and it's already down to 21 degrees in Watoma. In Green Bay, it is mostly clear and 27. We have westerly winds gusting to 25 miles per hour, but once again, those winds will be increasing as we head throughout the night. It is currently 23 here along College Avenue with gusty westerly winds and when you combine the winds with the cold temperatures we're already looking at wind chills that have dropped into the single digits it feels like six in Anago right now in Appleton the wind chill is 10 in Oshkosh it feels like 11 which brings us to your NEW sports showdown game of the week forecast really any football games this evening will be impacted by the weather we're going to have the chance for a snow shower or a flurry but really the big story is going to be the gusty winds and the cold temperatures temperatures lower 20s at kickoff in Oshkosh for the Kimberly Papermakers and the Fond du Lac Cardinals wind chills will be in the single digits above zero. Here's a look at Storm Shield radar. We've got a few snow showers and flurries out there this evening south and west of Oshkosh, but more importantly, there is an area of snow showers across northwestern Wisconsin and the western UP that is forecast to rotate through here later on tonight into tomorrow morning. You can see the trough associated with that area of snow showers. It'll be pushing south as we head throughout the night. Off to our north and west, feeling like the middle of January in some cases with afternoon high only in the mid to upper teens. This is the cold air that we're going to be dealing with as we head through the next five or six days. And that cold air is coming in on some very strong winds tonight. Once again, those winds will be increasing as the storm to our north and east continues to intensify. We've got that wind advisory in place for most of the viewing area. Winds at times gusting 40 to 50 miles per hour. Here comes that snow later on tonight into tomorrow morning. It's going to be kind of hit or miss snow showers and flurries, but where we get some snow showers, it's not out of the question that we could see an additional half an inch to an inch of snow by the time we get to tomorrow morning. Lots of sunshine tomorrow morning, high pressure in control of our weather, but that sunshine is not going to warm us up. Highs will only be in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees. You can see the sunshine here on Skycast giving way to increasing clouds by sunset as yet another system moves in from the north and west, and that will produce some light snow across the area tomorrow night, maybe a half an inch in some spots. That would be just about it. And then as we move into Sunday, look for mostly cloudy skies, maybe a flurry and chilly conditions. Kickoff temperatures at Lambeau Field will be in the lower to mid 30s, about 50 degrees colder than Miami. So tonight, windy and cold with some snow showers. Additional minor accumulations are possible. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and cold. Look for a high right around 30. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 30. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Pillars. And we did that today. I forecast 31 and the high temperature was 32 degrees. So mostly cloudy on Sunday, maybe a flurry. Few flurries Monday and Tuesday, windy and cold, highs only in the 20s to around 30 degrees. We do start to warm up a little bit after that, but even those temperatures at the end of next week, Regina, are below normal for this time of year, lower to mid 40s. At least it's 40s, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, and it's about a week away. Oh, darn. <laughs> Why isn't it tomorrow? No, we've got some cold yeah. air. Tuesday will be the coldest day of this entire batch. Okay, I'm prepared. All right. Thanks, Cameron. Yeah. Up next, several matchups around the country. Three races apparently.